Hello friends, today is maybe I'm more excited and have more props for this video than any video I've ever made, okay? Fractions, still dealing with fractions, we're taking up, talking about rulers and tape measures. Is this is maybe the most important thing, fraction or like concept that exists in the world as far as math is concerned. A tape measure is used, if it doesn't matter if it's standard or if it's, or it's customary or if it's metric system, um, a tape measure is how things are built. People who build bridges, who build homes, who build schools, who build stores and grow, you know, they use tape measures. So, look, it doesn't matter if it looks, you know, like a silver tape measure with a yellow strip. Sometimes there's there's laser tape measures. It's not a tape measure, but it's a laser. Okay, and it'll give you the reading. Uh, colored tape measures. This is called a speed square. Okay, this is really old, probably from like the 1930s, I think. Um, it, it has etchings on it to where it's like a tape, it, it's a ruler. Okay, another version of a speed square or a framing square. Or framing, this is more of a framing square. Um, and a speed square. Sometimes they're plastic sheets, you know, for people that are drawing and you have you have scales and you have measurements there. I'm showing you all of this because if you don't know how to use a tape measure, you can't build anything, you can't cut anything, you can't design anything that is precise. So let's talk about how a tape measure is created. Let's call this one inch, okay? So we're starting here at zero. We always start at zero, okay? And then this is one. Well, just so you know, so we, you know where we're going, an inch is divided into 16 pieces normally, okay, into, into sixteenths. And a tape measure is designed like this, one inch, and then you have, look, one half, because I have two sections here, right? So the half of an inch is right there. Now look at this, whoa! It's a different line, and notice one, two, three, four. So I have one out of four, okay? Two out of four is what? Two out of four gets reduced, so now it's one half, great. And then you have three out of four, three fourths. So three fourths of an inch. So all the way to one inch, you, you know, you stop by quarters. Now you have eighths. One out of eight. Okay, well look, this is two out of eight. Two out of eight is one quarter. Oh, this is how fractions work. Oh, this is how tape measure works. Three eighths. Four eighths, well, four out of eight is one out of two. It's half. Four is half of eight. Five eighths. And six eighths, well, that's three quarters. And then seven eighths. Okay? That's, how awesome is this, right? This is, this, is, this is how a tape measure works. And then sixteenths. So one out of sixteen. Two out of sixteenths, that's an eighth. Three sixteenths. Four sixteenths, now that's a quarter. Five sixteenths. Three eighths, seven sixteenths. Eight sixteenths, nine sixteenths. Five, five eighths. Um, is 10 sixteenths, then 11 sixteenths. No, look at this. This is These are all prime numbers. Or prime, not prime, but odd. 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, 11. Now look, 13 out of sixteenths. Whoa, and then 15 sixteenths. Okay, so that's pretty cool. This is, this is, this is your basic tape measure, and if you can see it, you know, no, uh, you can't see it. But look, it's, it's there. 16. Every inch is divided by 16. Look how cool this is. If you're looking across the line, there's, there, these measurements are, or these lines are different heights or different lengths. So that way you can know, oh, I'm counting by 16. Oh, I'm counting by eighths. Oh, I'm counting by quarters. Oh, this is one half. It's, that's awesome. So a tape measure is really cool. It's a very huge, important life skill that you should be able to uh, to have, okay, and know how to read. And so, 
Here you are. You go from one or zero all the way to one. You have to pass through these 16 different squares, you know, 16 different measurements. Um, there you go. This is reading a ruler or reading a tape measure. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you have any questions, let me know. Have a good day.